Today, we're taking a look at our Mamiya 645 to Sony E-mount shift adapter. This is a lens adapter that's designed to adapt Mamiya 645 medium format lenses, such as this one, to Sony E-mount cameras with full shift functionality built into the adapter. So not only does this adapt a medium format Mamiya 645 lens to your Sony E-mount camera, it also has a built-in shift mechanism that allows you to shift your adapted lens 10 millimeters in any direction. This adapter shifts your lens up to 20 millimeters, so 10 millimeters in each direction. And the way you use the shift mechanism is you just press this little silver button here, and this allows you to shift where the adapted lens is, right or left. And then there's this gold button right here, and you can actually press that to rotate where you put the shift 360 degrees. You can also use this as a standard adapter. You just shift to the very center, leave it right there, and it works just like a normal lens adapter. Our shift adapters are made entirely of metal and they have a beautiful professional finish to them. So they'll fit right in with your professional Sony E-mount gear. This is the front of the adapter. This is where you mount the Mamiya 645 lens. This is the rear. This is where you mount your Sony E-mount camera. And as you can see, the interior of the adapter is painted with a matte black finish. So you won't have any reflected light from the lens bouncing around inside. It'll all go right to your sensor. And then as you can see on the bottom here, we've got a tripod foot. This is an Arca Swiss compatible tripod foot. So you can mount this adapter on an Arca Swiss tripod. It also has a quarter 20 mounting thread, so you can put it on a tripod plate as well. And this is great if you're doing shift photography or if you have a very heavy medium format lens on the front. Great way to balance the lens and camera. But you can also remove this tripod foot if you don't need it. Uh, you just use a standard hex key to remove it. So you can leave it on, remove it, whatever you need. Now you might ask, how am I able to adapt a medium format lens to a Sony E-mount camera? How does that work? Well, it's actually pretty simple. It's all down to focal flange distance. As you'll see with this Sony E-mount camera, the place where you mount the Sony E-mount lens and the spacing between that mount and where the sensor is, is very small. It's very narrow. And that's the focal flange distance of Sony E-mount. So you have to mount your Sony E-mount lens directly on this mount to be able to focus your Sony E-mount lens to infinity. However, this Mamiya 645 medium format lens actually requires a lot more space. You actually have to have quite a bit of space between where the lens mounts and where your film plane or digital plane is for this lens to focus to infinity. And the reason a lens like this has a longer flange distance is it was designed for a camera that had a mirror inside it. So the mirror had to go up and down. So you needed that extra space to go between where the mirror went and the film plane was. And because this lens requires that extra space to focus to infinity, we have enough space to place an adapter. And that's how we're able to adapt a medium format lens like this Mamiya 645 lens to our Sony E-mount. And we're able to put adapters in between that have different functions such as shift. Now, the reason we're able to adapt medium format lenses to a full frame digital camera and have shifting ability is image circle. A medium format lens has a much larger image circle than a full frame lens does. And that means we've got extra space for the full frame in this camera to shift around inside that image circle. And that's why we're able to shift left, right, uh, rotate and shift up, down. Basically, we can do a lot of shifting with this medium format lens with a full frame digital camera because we've got that extra image circle real estate. And if you have any questions about this setup, comment below, I'd love to help you out. Now this adapter is compatible with the majority of a Mamiya 645 lenses. It'll work with slightly newer lenses like this 55 millimeter F 2.8 or older style lenses like this 110 millimeter F 2.8 Mamiya Secor C. And the only Mamiya 645 lenses this adapter is not compatible with are the phase one Mamiya 645 lenses. These are the more modern Mamiya 645 lenses that were made specifically for phase one cameras. Uh, they will not fit on this adapter, so do not use them. But as long as it's not a phase one Mamiya 645 lens, it will be compatible with this adapter. This adapter is also fully manual. It has no electronic communication pins. As you can see, there's nothing in the front or in the back, which means 
It will work with manual Mamiya 645 lenses, but it won't give you autofocus or electronic aperture control. So basically, when you use this adapter on your Sony E-mount camera, you will have to shoot in fully manual mode. You will have to manually focus your adapted Mamiya 645 lens, manually adjust its aperture. So your best bet is to use this adapter in manual mode on your Sony E-mount camera or use one of the supported priority modes. Now, before you adapt a Mamiya 645 lens to this adapter, you do have to set it up for manual aperture control. Uh, as you can see right now, the aperture is fully open on this lens. And even if we adjust the manual aperture control ring, you can see it's not opening or closing the aperture. And that's because this lens is currently set to auto mode. Uh, it's set to a mode where the Mamiya 645 camera will control the aperture. So we just have to set it from auto mode to manual mode. And with this specific lens, it's pretty simple. We're just gonna find this little control right here. Currently it's set to A. We're gonna set it to M. And now we can open and close the aperture and the lens is ready to use. Now, depending on the lens, you might have a slightly different control lever. In this case, it's this bigger one down here. It's currently set to A. As you can see, we're just gonna switch to M and then we can control the aperture as well. So based on the lens, the setting might be a little different, but basically you want to set it from A auto to M manual, and then you're ready to adapt it to your adapter. Okay, now that we have our lens set up, it's time to mount it on the adapter. Mounting it is pretty simple. You're just gonna find the red mounting dot on your lens. In this case, it's right here. And you're gonna line it up with the red mounting dot on the adapter, which is right here. And then you're just gonna press the lens into the adapter and rotate it to lock it to the adapter. And to remove the lens, it's basically like removing a lens from a camera. You're just gonna find the lens release button on the adapter, which in this case is this little silver button right here. We're just gonna press that down, rotate the lens, and remove it from the adapter. So again, it works very much like removing a lens from a camera. You just press the lens release button to remove it. Now you might ask how much play is between the lens and adapter? How much does the lens move? And with this adapter, we can actually test it right now, just rotating the lens and adapter separately. And as you can see, there is a little bit of play. You can hear that noise. If you have a Mimia 645 lens that's been used a lot and has a more worn down mount, it might have a little bit more play. But as you can see, even with this lens that is a little more worn out, it's still locked in pretty tight. Okay, now let's mount the lens and adapter to our Sony E-mount camera. And it's just like mounting a normal Sony E-mount lens. Find the mounting dot on the adapter, find the mounting dot on the camera, line them up, press the two together, and rotate to lock it into place. There we go, now we've got a Ramiya 645 lens adapted to our full frame Sony E-mount camera. And let's take a look at the play real quick. As you can see, it's even tighter on the camera than the lenses on the adapter. It's very much locked in there. There's hardly any play at all. So this is a very firm fit. Now, before we can use this fully manual lens on the Sony E-mount camera, we have to go into the camera's menu system and tell it that it's okay to use a manual lens. And I'll show you how to do that right here. So we're gonna go into the menu system. We're gonna go to the gear logo and we're gonna go to, let's see, number four. We're gonna go down to release without lens and we're gonna enable that. Now our Sony E-mount camera will be able to shoot photos and videos with the adapted manual medium format lens. Okay, now we get to the fun part using the shift mechanism built into this adapter. Like I showed you at the beginning, to shift, you're just gonna press this silver button down. And you can shift 10 millimeters to the right, 10 millimeters to the left. And then on top of that, you can push this little gold button right here. You can rotate the shift to wherever you want it. So if you wanted to shift vertically, you can do that. Shift up or down vertically. Or if you wanted to even shift diagonally, you can rotate it that way and shift diagonally. So you can pretty much place your shift wherever you want it in your shot, which gives you a lot of versatility in your shift photography. Now, what is shift photography good for? Well, a really important thing that shift photography does is perspective control. Let's say you are pointing this camera up at a very tall building. As you're pointing the lens up towards the building, you're going to see converging lines on the building. The leading lines of the building are actually gonna to converge together. So from your perspective, 
that's giving distortion to the lines of the building. It's called perspective distortion. And you wanna correct those leading lines and make them more straight. All you're gonna do is push this shift button and just shift up a little bit. By shifting up, you are correcting those leading lines, making them straighter, making for a more pleasing architecture shot. You can also shift up in landscape orientation. You're just gonna use this gold button right here, rotate 90 degrees, and then you can shift up like that. Pretty much wherever you need the shift, you can rotate it with this gold button. Another cool thing you can do with this shift adapter is shoot stitched panoramas. It's pretty simple. You're just gonna lock your camera and lens down on a tripod. And in this case, you're gonna use the Arca Swiss tripod foot, lock that down in place, set up your shot. Then you're gonna shift one way, take a photo, shift the other way, take a photo, and then you can take these two images, stitch them together in post, and create a true panoramic photo. And the reason we're able to do this is the medium format lens has a much larger image circle than the full frame sensor in this Sony E camera. So as we shift the camera right and left, we're actually shifting to different parts of the larger image circle of the medium format lens. So we're actually using more of the medium format lenses image circle, and we're getting a somewhat medium format style shot. When you shoot shift panoramas like this, it's kind of like you're turning your full frame camera into a full frame plus camera, almost like your full frame camera has a longer panoramic sensor built into it. Now, there are a lot of other things you can do with the shift adapter, and I would definitely recommend looking around online and looking at the professionals and seeing how they use shift photography. There's some amazing stuff out there. And if you wanna see more of our shift adapters, click this video right here. It'll give you a little bit more in-depth look at some of the photos you can create with this setup. This Mamiya 6452 Sony E-mount shift adapter is currently compatible with all Sony E-mount cameras. Just one note, if you're using a Sony E-camera with an APS crop sensor, if you're shooting stitched panoramas, you will have to take three photos rather than two. So rather than just shifting all the way one way, taking picture all the way the other taking picture, you're also gonna wanna take a picture in the center. And this is simply because the sensor of an APS camera is smaller. So to get full coverage for the panorama, you will have to take three photos. Okay, that'll do it for today's video. If you'd like to learn more about this adapter or maybe purchase one for yourself, click the link in the description below. And we also carry shift adapters for other types of lenses and cameras. So click the link down there to check out all the shift adapters we offer. And if you have any questions about anything I said in today's video, comment below, I'd love to help you out. I'm Sean with Photo Deox, and thanks for watching.